tight to the night Hope to see another day Yeah, hope they fly me home Yeah, wanna fly me Hello once again, revolutionaries. This is RYK, keeping you informed and up to date in the latest happenings with the WGP Revolution Recap. This weekend, it is going to be the return of Breakdown and the return of a champion. We will fill you in with all the details and more on the backside of the break. Don't go away. Having both found themselves without opponents at the last minute at Green with Envy, Kenzo Blackheart and WGP champion Josh Steele have agreed to face off with one another this Sunday at Breakdown. Let's take a peek at what we can expect from these two competitors. Well, I'll just make this short and simple. Because I just want to get straight to the point. I don't want to deal with that go around the places. All I see is Josh Steele, Josh Steele. Does it matter if the, you're the world champ? It doesn't matter if you're the champ that runs the camp. Once you get in that ring with me, you are nothing but an obstacle that I could run over. You are nothing to me. You may be the champ, you may be the big guy, but you will never be on my level. You see, it's more than clear that you've already proven you're a bitch, so I don't even have to hit you with a closed fist yet. Matter of fact, you're beneath me. You're shit. And I'm done with this. Just know that my aim, it doesn't miss. Fast Eddie Cap has been rising to every occasion since debuting here in Revolution. This weekend, his next challenge will be none other than NDT. You know, if you think we are somewhat alike, you know, you're sadly mistaken. And I'm going to prove that this weekend because, you know, um, after I win, that'll be another difference between the two of us as I actually win a match here and there. And I don't think you've won anything at all, have you, mate? Well... Anyway, I will see you this weekend, eh? Talk to you for now, eh? I know you from old. I seen your work. Believe me, I'm looking forward to this. Once he made his arrival here in Revolution, Jay Briggy made an open challenge that went completely unanswered. This Sunday, the challenge will be met as he takes on Villain. Briggy, I heard your voice. I heard the words you said. And I guess next Sunday... I'm going to have to do the one thing I didn't think I would have to do. And that is end Briggy. You want to see what the villain can really do? Then stay tuned. But I went to management, told him, I want to be on breakdown. Give me a match. Give me some competition. Give me a fight. And that's what they did. Except they gave me the villain. I asked for competition. And this is how you repay me, management? A champion from another organization 
<laughs> that you actually help run. And this is the best I get. The villain. The guy who has lost every single match since I've been watching. He even lost his face during a match while he was losing. And now I have lost all the respect that I used to have for this guy, the villain. Because he obviously doesn't put everything into his promos. He obviously doesn't come out here and give his all, which is very disrespectful to your opponents. Because none of your matches have even been close. And hell, half the people that you lost to, I already beat. So that shows me you really don't give a damn. You see, villain, March 28th, you got me. Management decided to give you another loss. And let's go ahead and call it that before it even starts. After an unsuccessful bid at the Revolution World title back at Green with Envy, the man instantly turned his attention to antagonizing the effectively retired and noticeably reluctant Chris Champion. These two have gone back and forth in what will prove to be an epic encounter this Sunday at Revolution Breakdown. But the man needs to know whether or not a champion of my caliber can face a champion in his. Now, all I want to know, all I want to do, and all I want to say is that Chris Champion. Chris Champion? Okay. I'm waiting for you. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. But, man, I... I gotta be honest, man. We don't we don't have to do this. We don't have to do this. You versus Chris Champion, we don't have to do this. Look, man, I'm not I'm not who I once was. I'm not that same guy anymore. And again, I, I, I appreciate I, I You also know why I have to do this? Why we have to do this? I am no longer the revolutionary pillar in this industry. In this company, with my loss to the champion. And the fact that management could go live when the greatest of all time is in their presence, speaking at this time to you, Chris Champion, showing me that you don't have it anymore? That's something that the man can't even fathom if you were once your idol. I hear you, all right? I hear you. I know why you feel like we have to do this. But trust me, you don't want this. You don't want this to happen, man. Think about what you're asking for, huh? Think about what you're trying to get me to do. Look, the hoodie, the hoodie is hung up. The hoodie is hung up for a reason, all right? Think about this. Take a few days, think about your actions, because once we cross that line, once we go down this path, there's no coming back. What are these feeble attempts of begging? What are these so-called measures that you're taking to try to tell the man what he doesn't want? I mean, how many more times are you going to come out and name superstars as an unsuitable replacement for the man? Hmm? How many times are you going to come on here and truly beg for the man not to want where his legacy is supposed to take him? How can you, by any other name, refuse the man? So, 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 man, if this is what you want, I guess I have no choice but to give you what you desire, what you are begging me for. So this Sunday at Revolution Breakdown, I'll give you exactly what you're looking for. <laughs> I can't be held responsible. There can't be any consequences for me. There will be no accountability for Chris Champion because I tried to do the right thing. 
I tried. I tried to do the right thing. But this Sunday, we're going to answer a whole hell of a lot of questions. Does Chris Champion still got it? But the most important question of all, the question of all questions that's going to be answered this Sunday, which is greater, man or God? The banter between Canadian crippler Gene Emerson and Bossolini has not been aimless. In fact, the Revolution World Champion Matt Anarchy has even thrown his two cents into the mix. This weekend, in the main event of Breakdown, Bossolini will take on Gene Emerson. Let's take a peek into what these men are thinking about that one. We see each other in a few short days. When we see each other, I am going to beat your ass so bad, not only will you drop down in rankings in Revolution, management might drop you down rankings in WGP as well. Because you think that what you do is going to get you somewhere. Me personally, I'm all about what I need to accomplish. Now, Bossolini, you and I will meet on the 28th at Breakdown in this dukeroo that we're about to have, and we're finally going to settle the score. And the funny thing that keeps going through my head is we're going to finally figure out which one of us is playing in the world of pure imagination. On the 28th, one of us is gonna be snapped back into reality, while the other one will stay in their fantasy world. Ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up this week's recap. The action resumes this Sunday, March 28th at 11 a.m. Central Time, 12 p.m. Eastern, as Revolution presents Breakdown. In the following weeks, WGP Carnage will be taking place on a special Saturday, April 3rd, and that will move us into our very next co-branded event, Salvation. I'm RYK. And you are revolutionary. I'm gonna sprout a pair of wings, I'm gonna fly me home.